Hi everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing this very pokey hedgehog corset made by Dracula Clothing. So here's the, ah, Jesus, okay, here's the front, <laughs> the side, the back, and the other side. For the length and fit of this corset, the center front here measures 14 inches. At the princess seam, it's 11 inches, and five of those inches are from the waist up, while six of those inches are from the waist down. The side seam here is 11 inches as well, and the center back, once again, is 14 inches. For the circumferential measurements, today I'm wearing a size 22, and when I measured it right out of the box, it measured 22 inches in the waist, so it's true to size. The rib cage here is 28 inches, so it has a six inch rib spring. And the hip here, uh, to the highest point on the side seam and going around horizontally, this is 34 and a half inches. So it has a 12.5 inch hip spring. It comes up into a point in the center front at the top here, as well as in the bottom at the front, it comes down into a point as well. In terms of the silhouette, it is relatively conical through the ribs as well as relatively slanted over the hip. It does cover my iliac crest by about an inch, so I don't consider it to be a long line corset per se, but it is a relatively long corset, as I said, 11 inches at the princess seam. So if you have a long torso, but you want something to fit you kind of like a regular underbust without going low over the side of the hip here, uh, this would be a good option for you. But if you have a shorter torso, I would not recommend this corset. I would recommend going with a, a bit of a shorter corset, unless you really, really want the hedgehog corset for a special event where you're going to be standing most of the time. So let's go to the tabletop portion of this review and I can show you the other details of this corset close up. Here is the hedgehog corset laid flat and for the materials I feel at least three layers of fabric. The fashion layer here is black cotton and the interlining inside or in between the other two layers may be another layer of cotton or perhaps an extremely thick kind of facing. The lining as well is also black cotton twill, and it's actually a floating lining, which is nice be um, because the spikes are actually riveted through the uh, several layers of fabric. So the lining just covers the metal so it's not directly next to your body. And in case anybody was curious, uh, there are a total of 144 spikes on this corset, 72 on each side. And this is what the Dracula clothing label looks like. It does not appear to have any um, like country of manufacture or um, fiber content or cleaning instructions. It's fairly simple, but there's the size. And I have to say, this is a really heavy corset, and every time I like put the corset down on the table or move it around, there's a lot of noise. So I'm trying to uh, move it around the least amount as possible. Uh, but this is a five panel pattern, so 10 panels for both sides. One, two, three, four, five. And panel three here, um, it seems to kind of uh, straddle the side of my body here. And most of the curve of the hip is in panels three and four. And you can see that panel four is very close to the back of this corset. So this might be another type of uh, pattern in a corset where um, it's actually better to wear this with a small lacing gap in the back as opposed to completely closed because it seems that the curve over the hip um, is a little bit set back on the body. So if you wear this corset completely laced closed in the back, the hip of this corset might actually be a little bit too far back for your own anatomical hip. Uh, so wearing it with a small gap in the back kind of properly aligns the hip of the corset over your own hip bones. And for the construction of this corset, this was assembled with a top stitch here, and it's double boned on every seam, which is very similar to any of every other Dracula clothing corset that I have reviewed and tried in the past. Um, so if those other corsets are any indication, they are uh, constructing this using the welt seam method. Uh, but on the inside here, they added just an additional layer, uh, the floating lining with a very small, uh, tidy top stitch. Uh, to, just to hide all the hardware and prevent the metal from touching your body. And in terms of a waist tape, um, it may be covered over by the lining. I cannot really feel one or see the outline of one underneath the floating lining. So in all, all truth, I don't know if the manufacturer had possibly cut corners uh, because they knew that the 
the lining was going to be covering every everything anyways so i won't know if this corset has a waist tape unless i take this corset apart so um, let me know in the comments especially patrons since you're the ones who had uh, funded this corset uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to open up this corset and check if it does have a waist tape inside of it Here's a close-up of the binding made from matching strips of black cotton twill here, machine stitched on both outside and on the inside. You can see that there is a very tiny small top stitch on the outside and on the inside. It's a bit of a wider um, seam allowance here. And there are four garter tabs, two on each side of the corset, one near the front and one near the back. The modesty panel in this corset is about five and a half inches wide, unstiffened, and finished in two layers of black cotton twill. It's sewn to one side of the corset, which can be removed if you want, if you uh, don't like modesty panels. And additionally, there is a modesty placket in the front here, extending out from underneath the knob side of the busk. It's unstiffened, but there's enough um, space in here. There's enough room that if you wanted to add a wide stainless steel bone uh, underneath the busk here, you probably could do it pretty easily. Uh, but as it is now, it's unstiffened and just finished in black cotton twill. There are a total of 20 bones in this corset, 10 on each side, not including the center front busk here. So it's double boned on the seams here, two, four, six, eight. These are all quarter inch wide spiral steel bones. And it's a little bit tricky to fit my magnet between the spikes, but I do feel that it is pulling on the magnet, so it must have some steel. Um, and in the center back here, sandwiching the grommets, there are two quarter inch wide flat steel bones and these attract my magnet a little bit less but they do behave like steel bones so I'm guessing that this might be stainless steel because stainless steel is slightly less ferrous so it will attract a magnet less than um, the spiral steel bones here which might contain more iron. Here's a close-up of the grommets there are 24 of them 12 on each side they are set more or less equidistantly apart, uh, about an inch or maybe a little bit more than an inch apart here. They're size double zero with a small to medium flash around them and finished in silver. Here's the underside of the grommets. Uh, I do like that there are big, big washers on the back here. Uh, most of these seem to have rolled fairly well. There are a few splits in these, but they don't seem to catch on the laces and none of them seem to be pulling out here. Uh, these grommets resemble the ones that came with my C-Step 2 machine. And the laces in the back are pretty standard. You get, they're your typical black, flat, uh, nylon, shoelace style laces, your standard workhorse. Um, nothing special about them. They do their job. The Hedgehog Corset by Dracula Clothing is available in closed waist sizes of 18 inches up to 38 inches and is exclusively made in this black cotton finish with the silver hardware like you see here. On the website, it's 79 euros, which converts to about 92 dollars US. I purchased the Hedgehog corset at the same time as a couple of other corsets from Dracula Clothing, and although they are all shipped at the same time, the Hedgehog corset arrived separately. The other corsets arrived in very lightweight plastic uh, mailer bags, while the Hedgehog corset was mailed very safely in something that resembles a pizza box with, uh, I believe it was bubble wrap inside as well, to uh, protect the, the spikes and I guess protect all the other packages around it from being perforated by the spikes of this corset. Dracula Clothing has free worldwide shipping, which is a big plus. Uh, the tracking number did not work after about the first week, so I was not aware of when it was arriving into Canada. But I was not charged duty for my corsets, and like I said before, I didn't have to pay any extra for the shipping itself. So there are pros and cons to um, their free uh, economic shipping. Uh, just make sure that if you have an event coming up that you purchase your corset or your clothing from Dracula Clothing uh, more than a month in advance just to make sure that it arrives on time. This corset review is made possible by my supporters on Patreon, so thank you all so, so much. My Patreon supporters not only fund my corsets for future reviews, but they also get to vote on which specific styles and brands I review in the future. So if you want to learn more about my Patreon page and you want to have a say in which corsets I review on this channel in the future, feel free to click the link above in the cards or down in the description below. So this concludes my review of this Hedgehog Corset by Dracula Clothing. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you did, please remember to click that like button down there as it helps support this channel. If you have any comments or 
questions about this very spiky and pokey corset or Dracula clothing in general, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'd be happy to answer you. Or if you have your own hedgehog corset, uh, let us know what you think of it in a comment down below as well. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you all next week. Ow! I'll see you all next week for another video. Bye!